Welcome to Organism X, the movie. The purpose of this movie is to examine dark field microscopy at 100 power to determine whether the string-like structures seen in the blood and the inclusions seen in some of the red blood cells are part of a bacterial infection or are just normal aspects of healthy blood. In this series of videos, we'll try and point out a number of examples of possible organism X's. This is pretty much the classic example. It appears to have two heads. It appears to have enough thickness to be an organism. And it appears to be moving somewhat on its own, or at least wiggling on its own, independent of the Brownian motion that you can see in the cholesterol in the background. By the time this picture was taken, the blood itself had been sitting on the slide for several hours, and you can see how a number of the cells are already dehydrated. We don't seem to see any inclusions in these cells, and that's a good thing. The inclusions, it seems, are related to the patient's health. The more inclusions, the worse the health of the patient. This guy seems to be going somewhere. Here are two small organism X's that you'll see in a minute with the circle. Hard to say on these guys. They're small. They could be organism X's. They could just be broken pieces of cell wall. Right in the middle, you can see what could be some inclusions or some cysts, but it's hard to say. Down here, away at the bottom, this also looks like some inclusions or cysts, but again, the cell wall of the blood cell does not look intact, and that may be why they're in motion. You can see other things up near the top. You can see what is probably just a piece of broken cell wall and not an organism X. It's very difficult to pick out the organism X's. This is a guy that's possibly an organism X. Doesn't sh clearly show the head on each end, but has a fair amount of width. Seems to be wiggling on its own, not just moving with the Brownian motion. Again, below it, possibly just in the blood, some type of inclusion, egg, cyst, we don't know. That could just be an artifact of the microscope. This is pretty definitely just a piece of a broken down cell, at least this vertical piece that we're looking at, and is just floating in the medium. It doesn't have the two heads. It's not wide enough to be much of a structure. And it just, it, it has a low probability of being an organism X. In the middle above, there's one that could be an organism X. It does have the two heads. This again, classic organism X. It has the two heads. It has a fair amount of width. It seems to be moving under its, its own power. Right next to it, to the right, you can see a blood cell or a part of a blood cell that seems to have a number of inclusions in it, inclusions, cysts, eggs, that may be a part of the reproductive process of organism X. This guy, hard to say, seems to have some of the properties of organism X, seems to be moving, if it is, it's a small one. Hard to say if that means that it's younger than the others. But again, it does exhibit some of the properties. We'll give it a 50% probability of being organism X and about a 50% probability of just being a part of a cell wall. This here is interesting in that it does appear to be an organism X from the two heads and the motion the other thing that's interesting is the fact that it seems to be trying to get into this blood cell. And if the reproductive mechanism of organism X is that the adult organism works its way into the blood cell, becomes a cyst, which then splits, then that would explain the motion of that feature. Again, 
Another classic possibility of organism X, fairly wide, two heads, moving at what seems under its own power, at least wiggling under its own power, because it doesn't seem to be moving much in this particular slide here, this particular picture. But again, possibly organism X, possibly a piece of a cell wall. This here is almost definitely a piece of a cell wall. It doesn't seem to have the thickness. It doesn't seem to have the two heads. It just doesn't seem to have the independent motion that we see in what we call a classic organism X. That is something that we would say there's a greater than 50% chance. This here, several either organism Xs or pieces of blood cell, as you can see, the slide now is old enough that a number of these blood cells are drying out, dehydrating. And again, this does indi this increases the probability that there are organism Xs, but also increases the probability of broken blood cell walls. This here, we would probably call a broken blood cell. It just doesn't exhibit the same qualities of organism X. It's in a region of the slide that looks pretty dried out by now, and we'd say it's pretty unlikely. This here is something, I'm glad it's not in my blood. It's the $64 question as to what it is, and um, boy, I'd sure like to know, but I've never seen it in any of the other dark field uh, pictures that I've looked at. Looks kind of like a snake to me. Maybe it's the Loch Ness Monster. To give you an indication of the resolution of the microscope, this here is a mycoplasm pneumoniae. And it's on the order of about a tenth of the diameter of a blood cell. And this is just shown to give you an idea of the resolution of the microscope. Mycoplasm pneumoniae just seems to be pretty common in blood. This again is a classic organism X. It seems to be moving on its own. It has two definite heads associated with it. If we had a little more microscopic power, say a 400 power lens, we could hopefully see the, the side walls or the, the, the side structure of it. This is an organism X or what I may want to call an organism Y in that it appears to be too thick for an organism X. But again, it does have the, the two heads on it. It's even thicker than a blood cell wall. And this is just something we have to look at. On the bottom, a possible organism X. In the top, this is a candida or yeast infection. And again, this could be gotten rid of relatively easily with drugs such as Nystatin. The possible organism X in the bottom, again, just possibility. The organism X, but most important on the top, the blood cell that seems to have a clump of inclusions or eggs. This guy now, if you watch him, it sure looks like he's going somewhere rather than just floating around in the intercellular medium. So now we come to the $64,000 question. Is this structure an organism or is it just a piece of broken cell wall? The answer to this question may affect the health of many thousands of people. To those of you who get this video, I hope you will look at it seriously and use your knowledge of microscopy and biology to determine if this is organism X and if it is what the X represents. Thank you very much for your attention.